Hey everybody, welcome into Wrestle Forever. I'm Roger. Ryan. And we're uh, gonna break down that NXT and uh, 205 this week. There we'll we start are. Start with 205 as usual. Yep. Uh, what'd you think? Yeah, it's all right. I mean, it's. I feel like they're losing. They're like straying away from some of the storylines. Yeah. As they're just putting on matches. Mm-hmm. I would. They're I would not, agree with they're that. They're terrible, but. I don't know. It was all right. It wasn't terrible, but I feel like it's lost a little bit of steam. Yeah. Well, I feel like like if you're talking about like storylines, like pre uh, Enzo allegations, right? Storylines, like I felt like some of those had to go. Some of them, yeah. Um, but like I missed the Drake Maverick like tough love stuff and like oh, okay, we're okay, changing yeah. to a five gotcha. and do that. I feel like they've strayed away a little bit, and yeah. we're just getting the well, second round Well, it was just kind of like, this is one show that it really didn't have it. We'll see right. We'll see if it repeats, but... It wasn't terrible, though. It yeah, I thought week. I thought it was pretty good. Um, it's, I mean, consistently still still on par with itself. Right. Um, we started out with TJP versus Cedric Alexander. Cedric came out, and TJP cut a promo before he came out. Yes. Just essentially saying, hey, you know, I was the first cruiserweight or i won the cruiserweight classic i became the first cruiserweight champion right and essentially people don't think i can do it but i'm about to do it again and um he did not he did not he came out <laughs> it was it was he an okay out and match it was not the match that i thought it was going to be i thought it was going to be a lot better it was yeah. a little bit it was awkward at times mm-hmm. we can go ahead and up that counter because the crowd kind of sucked we can go up at another half point. Half point. They came alive okay. for Roddy versus Kalisto a little yeah. bit. Yeah, there was a small two oh five chant in there. Yeah. Go ahead and up that uh, counter. Point, point five. five, okay. Yeah. Okay. You don't get a full point, but you ain't getting reset. Yeah. Because um, yeah, the TJP versus Cedric, it was pretty quiet. It was pretty yeah. dead. I kept looking. There was one guy in particular, uh, he was in a blue shirt right He's in the front row on, on his, his cell phone. Yep. Like, come you know. on, dude. Yeah, people are just um, worn out, I guess, by the end of this. Yeah, but you know your your Which, typical typical move set was was there. Did this um, end right after the Cena versus AJ? Yes, it did. Oh, oh no, wait, sorry the the uh, the mix match challenge was in between. Oh yeah, that's right. Which so, that one was a ton of fun. This that week was a good too. one this week. That was is one of the better ones. Actually. Yeah, the, yeah, the Finn and. Uh, Sasha versus uh, Oscar and Miz. Yeah, it was oh, actually yeah, it, was it was actually good. pretty decent. It actually had like a pretty interesting ending, like yeah. kind of a like a pretty interesting one. Yeah, I liked it. Yeah. Um. But yeah, so after the Cedric goes over. Yeah, and it was like in a very like, I don't know how to describe it. It just felt like it. It was. It came out of nowhere, but it was not the good come out of nowhere. Right. It was like, you know, the match was TJP all the way up to this point, and then boom, Lombard Checker was done. Yeah, pretty much. It, it was the F5 finish. Um, <laughs> There's no kicking out. It's over. Yeah, it was It, it was kind of, the ending I thought was kind of lame. But then we got um, uh, Roderick Strong versus Callisto. That was a good one. one. Hell of a match. That was solid. Roderick Strong's two for two now with his matches. Yeah. Because those were both super solid. I guess Kalisto is too. Yeah. Because Kalisto had a great first round. This was a great second round. Well, you know, Kalisto's the kind of guy, they'll, they'll put a title on him and he, he doesn't do too well, but even his promo stuff is not very good. But God, when he gets in the ring, man, and he's ready to go, he goes. He seems to have... His, he's good. Put him with the right opponent and it, it, it does great things. Mm-hmm. I mean, put him with Braun Strowman, it might get a little awkward. Yeah, he did that? beat he did beat Braun Strowman. <laughs> He's got a win on Braun. Stuck um, him in that dumpster. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it did not work out for him. No, it, not at all. It never works but, out um, for anybody who gets a win on Braun Strowman. Nope. But that match was so good. Yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. It was it was hard hitting. There was lots of good flying with Kalisto. There was uh, tons of like. At least two, I say tons, but at least two very notable uh, Hurt Piranha spots where he just absolutely spikes him. Oh, yeah. No, those, those were real good. And there was that, that, that move off the top rope, too. Uh, you Which know, like one? the one where everybody's like, what was that? Oh, yeah. That was, yeah, that awkward. I still don't know what it was, but it looked awesome. 
It looked cool. Yeah, it turned yeah. out cool. I mean, obviously they got hung up somewhere and it didn't go as they planned, but it looked all right. Yeah, it was it was really dope. It was cool. I, I enjoyed it. Roderick Strong looked good. He went over, so he moves on. So the semifinals now will be Cedric versus Roderick Strong. Do we want to make a prediction? Yeah. Um, Let's go ahead and make one then. You go first. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm going to go... Roderick Strong, he seems to have a little more uh, momentum, I guess. So yeah. I don't know. I'm still, I don't know if Roderick Strong is joining two of five or if he's just here for yeah, this tournament thing. Yeah, that's the thing. real question. But I'll, I'll take, I'll take Roddy going to the finals for Mania. Sure. Why not? <sighs> I wanted to take Roderick Strong. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> But Cedric Alexander is the safe bet by a long shot. Who's got the better finisher? You like Cedric's or Roderick Strong's? Well, Roderick Strong's has stuff that comes before it a lot of times. It's got set up into it. So you like Roderick Strong's? I like better. Roderick Strong's better. Yeah. They're both, and maybe that's the match is that... They're both kind of those lumbar checks. Yeah. Things. Maybe that's the match is that, you know, Cedric goes over because Roderick takes too much setup. <laughs> <laughs> takes too much setup, screws him over. Yeah, screws him over. Tr- keeps trying Maybe. to get a knee or something in there, and ain't happening. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna assume. Uh, I'm gonna guess Roderick Strong goes. If he, I mean, that's this is kind of a tough one to call. Mm-hmm. Cedric had a lot of momentum before because he was supposed to battle Enzo, and he and you know that stuff yeah. happened with Enzo. So now we got this. Cedric's been winning, so it would make sense for Cedric to win too, but. You know, just throwing out a guess there. I'll go Roderick Strong. Yeah, I'm. I'll take the safe road, and I will go Cedric Alexander. All right, there we go. Just for the. Same. I hope you're right, though. Like, I mean, I know that I keep <laughs> I keep getting all of our predictions right all of the time. Yeah, maybe you I'm pretty much them. untouchable. Yeah, but um, somebody's watching this. Yeah, just for you. But I but I hope that you're right. And so next week we got uh, Gulak Mer- and uh, oh, is it? We got yeah, we got Gulak and Mark Andrews okay, and okay, Murphy okay. and Ali. Yeah. Do we want to make predictions on this one? Yeah. All right. This time you go first on Murphy versus Ali. Uh, I think Ali goes over. Nah, see, I disagree with this. Uh, there we go. We actually have a. Yeah. I think Murphy's too too much. I think Murphy goes. I think he's too new. I think. You I think. think so? I think that we have a really good chance of the finals being. Cedric Alexander and Mustafa Ali. I mean, though I wouldn't hate that match. Uh, I don't know. No, nah, I'm gonna say Murphy wins this. Goes over Ali there. Okay. I really wouldn't hate it either way. I mean, yeah, I'd be fine no. either way. But I'm gonna say, for the sake of guessing and making a prediction here, I'm gonna say Murphy goes over. But okay. Murphy, he okay, got, he got the package. Ali, he I did guess, get, got a package, he, didn't he? Oh, yeah. He had the, he had like the, a little promo in between. The battle the of the phone. packages? Yeah. <laughs> um, and then we have Drew Gulak versus uh, Mark Andrews. I, I assume we're both taking Gulak in this one. Yeah, we're, we're t- I'm taking Gulak. Yeah, I think he's got a little more star power on 205 Live. I think they want to keep him in there. Mark Andrews is still so new that he doesn't really have a lot of following. I'm going to assume that they're going to put Gulak because he's kind of as far as being over at 205 goes. Yeah. Which I don't know what that means. But well, see, that's my reasoning with Buddy Murphy, too. The same same reasoning you have there. But I guess Mark Andrews didn't get a package, did he? No, he didn't. And Buddy Murphy was already in NXT for a while. He, he, had, he was over as a tag guy with Wesley Blake. So, I don't know. I feel like he's still a little bit more known. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, his girlfriend's okay. Alexa Bliss. You know, you just how you yeah. beat that? Who's I Ali dating? I don't know. <laughs> it, they they did say that he was a he was a police officer before. Yeah, I didn't know that. I was like, whoa. Yeah, he was a police officer. He was a freaking popo, man. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, that pretty much sums up two five. So next week we'll get yeah. that and we'll find out. Should be a good week. Both those matches look like they could be stellar matches. So Yep, we'll find out the semifinals on the other side of the bracket. And then we'll see uh, where we go towards there. So, yeah. Move on to NXT. All right. So, we started the show off. Uh, there was the whole little package of um, 
Actually, let's talk about the the entrance. They they changed up some of the stuff to have a uh, uh, Champa doing the wave or whatever. They yeah. they recapped what happened last week with uh, Gargano. Um, it ended with the wave. Then they went into the package and there was Champa waving again. So I love this feud. I wish. Yeah. I wish this week they would have done a little bit more with that because yeah, so I wish. Great. Yeah. They touched on it near the end, but you know, like. So many things make that feud or this storyline really just really good. Mm-hmm. And you know what? One of them that they should do and take note for future reference is there's lack of 50-50 booking in there is what makes it interesting. Yeah. The fact that Gargano's lost four times in a row now to the same person mm-hmm. is what makes it kind of more interesting. Yeah. Everyone feels like, oh, he was due. He's due. He's due. Oh, mm-hmm. Nope. Like, nope. it keeps you guessing, adds for more story. They need to do that more. Stop making it to where I, I think main roster is where it's maybe he never worst. gets a win over Almas. He just we don't know if he's moving up or not. That way people keep like like okay he's got it this time. But you know oh, yeah. they, he could beat him like nine times in a row, and on that tenth time people are like see I told you it was gonna happen. Yeah, I saw this in a movie, The Little Giants. I think yes, yeah. this is called. But yeah, we'll see where that goes. They didn't really do too much with it this week. Seeing did a quick promo at the end. We'll talk about, but it's opened up. With Velveteen oh. versus Tyler Bate. Yep. And um, not really much out of this match. Like, it wasn't... I actually expected a way better match. Yeah. Like, it was very average. Yeah, it was an okay match. And that was, you know, it was, it was run of the mill. Yeah. I mean, you could see this match on Raw and main roster. Yeah. And um, it didn't... Eh. It didn't a, help any, but the, the, other, the other story going out of it is they keep mentioning that Tyler Bate is on a losing streak. Uh-huh. So... I assume that that is a story in in the story, really. And they mentioned that Velveteen Dream is going through people now. So yeah, you may be right. Maybe they set up for Black versus Velveteen Two mm-hmm. at a paper pay, pay, takeover in the future. Yeah. So maybe that's where paper we're going. Poker ver. paper be paper be <laughs> for the future. Um. <laughs> next, we had. Uh, Adam Cole versus Caesar Baloney. <laughs> um, his name it. is Caesar Bononi. He was the. Uh, they said that he was voted the NXT 2017 Future Star. We should have voted in these. Things. Yeah, we should have. I didn't vote in any of these. I would have never voted in because his last name is too close to Baloney. Yeah, I also don't know who was in the running for that, but they. I did like the beginning where he kind of teased. Oh, you know, joining Undisputed, and then yeah. attacks him. Yeah, but then I was like, I was like, do you really want this guy in Undisputed? He has a tribal tattoo. <laughs> They're aware of that, right? Yeah. Oof. Maybe that's what killed it. He's like, you know what? No. Yeah. Uh, but they have a quick little match there. Uh, they toss him a shirt like he's gonna be in. Yeah. And he's he's, thinking he's like about thinking it. about it, and then boom, Adam yeah. Cole jumps him. He does this little number here. Mm-hmm. Yes. They they undisputed error, they play their roles so freaking well. Yeah. They I are mean, so good at what they do. They're all pretty seasoned, so yeah. it's to be expected. But oh yeah, I love them. But we didn't yeah, get, we didn't get a ton out of this. I don't know what story yeah, we got out und- of that. Undisputed really. Era jumps up the O'Reilly and Fish and uh Baloney goes at him. Uh, Adam Cole sneaks up from behind, super kicks him, knee to the back of the head. One, two, three. I do like that this match finished with, you know, not on like the super kick or some predictable move right there. It was it was Adam Cole throwing a knee to the back of the head, and that was enough. That was the good one, enough. Two, three. Yep, I like that. Yeah, I was fine with that. Uh, I didn't really, I mean, I don't know what I really expected out of that match. Anyway. I will say that Caesar Bologna looks pretty huge. <laughs> He's dude is dude guy. is kind of yoked and he's kind of tall. Kind of, yeah. He looks like he's like freaking six eight or something. Yeah, he looks real tall. But yeah, better luck next time, Caesar Baloney. Um, <laughs> up next we had a uh, Kyrie Sane versus Shayna Baszler, and good this match. was a good match. I like this. I match. really like this match a lot. Um, Kyrie comes out. And she's in full pirate gear. They're talking up that, the, hey, this was the finals match of the, the women's, the Mae Young Classic. Yeah. Um, and we're getting to see, you know, another shot at it here. 
Shayna comes out. Shayna is getting Shayna is getting better and better. She is, you know, every like, single time she goes out I there, was she so ups it a little more. Not impressed with her in the May Young, and like I've grown to like her a lot now that she's actually got a story behind her and stuff. Here, she's playing it very, very well. She got yeah. tons of booze. Like she's doing. She actually did have a little bit of a chant though, too. Now, like some people were chanting for her. Yeah, near the end though, it was definitely pure, yeah, pure yeah. Booze. I think I think she will. People are going to to really. Like, Especially once, once you know, a couple years passes, and you know, if Ronda's still around, her and Ronda together, yeah. either having matches, you know, teaming with each other or having matches against each other, those could be some hard hitting matches because Shayna Baszler is stiff. Yeah, they just, and, they just go into a UFC match. Out of yeah, nowhere yeah, and forget where they're at. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was so, good. Yeah, uh, and like Kyrie Sane, I really like her. I mentioned this earlier. In NXT, you can have a match that that reads the Queen of Spades versus the Pirate Princess, but you're never going to be able to have that in main roster. Oh no! Kyrie saying is you know like, however long they keep, they need to keep her in NXT for a while, even though she's very good. She kind of adds that star power there, but they need to like gradually kind of repackage her into something more easily digestible for like you know your casual, you know I just watch Raw fan. Yeah. Um But there was a cool spot at the end. They they had a, man. I mean, uh, it's all right. Man. I need some coffee. Why didn't I get coffee? I got coffee, man. I get you some. I told you I could use soda. I got I got we're drinking Dr. Butts right here. Not sponsored, <laughs> but hey, if you're looking if you're looking Mr. Butts, if you're checking out this video, send us some sodas. We'll shout you out more than just this once. You saw how good I just sold this product. Somebody's gonna be like, you know what? Where's that H E B? Yeah, I need to get up to H E B because I need me a nice chilled Doctor Butts. <laughs> <laughs> but Kyrie Sane had some good spots. They had the nice she little did. segment with the spear. Um, but I really like Shayna Baszler sh- showed off the that top rope move that she has. Oh yeah, she did. And we haven't really seen much of her. Go yeah, to the top rope. And that was it. it looked like it was kind of like it was supposed to have a little more impact on the way down than it did. Yeah, but man, once she perfects that, that move is gonna be freaking gnarly, because it goes into like the, kind of like an atomic drop or something. Um, yeah, I can't remember the 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 slam where you land on your ass, right. but um, and goes straight into the finisher. yeah, but yeah, and then she goes straight into the the clutch. Yeah, um, and it's it's dope. I really like it a lot. It was it's it's a cool way to get into her finisher without just sneaking up behind her or doing something like that to yep. get into her finisher. It's a good way to like get into it because that's one of those finishers that's like everybody's gonna get into it the same way. So it's nice to have something right before it that kind of puts her in there. So yeah, agreed. Um, now we move on to the CN promo that we talked about earlier. At the very end, yeah. That's um, how they finish up, kind of. Zelina Vega's, you know, say, you know, talking about, hey, he's four and zero oh. in baseball. They call it a clean sweep. Got a clean um, sweep, champ. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, 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 they champ for sweep. anything. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. They'll champ for anything. They'll champ for anything. They're still in Atlanta too. CN, I'm ready to see them go back. This to is the style. first time we've seen CN try and actually or at least it's the first time i remember seeing trying to grab a mic and do an actual promo yeah. in the ring and like an extended promo by himself yeah you can really hear you know like his accent come out you know yeah english is not his first language and if anybody that goes to shows is watching this at all please please if you see somebody that english is obviously not their first language and they're learning do not what chant them i know you are the bad. biggest prick Piece of crap in the world. Roger hates you. I hate you. I I like Chance, and I'm pretty pretty lenient on you know Chance and people. You know when they pay money, they should be able to chant or whatever. But that's being outright an asshole. Yeah, you're just being a dick. It's not it's not a CM Punk chant over Stephanie McMahon. Yeah, that's a guy learning to speak our language so he can cut a promo. He's an amazing wrestler. He's here to entertain y'all, and y'all are whatting in between his words. Yeah, it, it, it pisses me off. It definitely takes you out of his promo. And NXT crowds typically don't do that shit. No, yeah. You need to go back to full cell. <laughs> yeah, what, what, they just keep touring. I mean, I get they're getting bigger, but yeah. I feel like 
the shows might be taking a little bit of a hit as they're traveling. Yeah. Like when they're at full sale, the shows are so much better. But yep. as they're traveling, it gets a little bit. Please uh, go back to full sale now. Yeah. Can we go back? I like the full sale crown. Yeah. I saw Gargano was posting that he's finishing up his last few dates. One of them is in Cleveland where he's from. So mm-hmm. he's going to get to finish up, I guess, in Cleveland. Finish up. When are they? Yeah. When are we going to see something that puts him back in? There's no way he's leaving WWE. Maybe that's the unpredictability of it, though. Yeah, I know. I don't know. Please don't be leaving. Um, but yeah, I thought overall between Zelina and uh, CN, there that I thought the promo was good. It was good. Yeah, no, yeah. I mean, he flaunted the fact that he's champion and all that stuff. And then, yeah, then we got why did right as he's Johnny leaving, Jobless, man. Yeah, Johnny Jobless. He is jobless. He's not wrong. But then as he's leaving, Aleister Black comes out. Yep, you hear. And you think he's going to confront CN with a Yeah, he's got a mic in his hand. Yeah, he does have a mic. He does. And then Killian Dane comes out. Yeah. And they slide a mic in next to Killian Dane as well. Yeah, they do. And there is no promo. There's There's no promo. Immediately a fight breaks out. Yeah. Killian Dane gets the best of him. Yep. And Killian Dane stands on top. Uh, That match is, I think, is going to be awesome. Uh, That's That's going to be a heavy hitting match. So it sets up for next week. So we got next week we start the Dusty Rhodes Classic. Yep. We got Street Profits versus Heavy Machinery. Any way that Street Profits can win. <laughs> Cuz I kind of I'm I w- yeah, I want to change my my prediction to Street Profits. Okay. I'm changing my prediction. It's going to the Street Profits. Cuz those guys they're hilarious, dude. I, I mean, Stupid I like them just fine. So good. I think they're better than Heavy Machinery. Oh yeah. So if I'm Please dead, don't let Heavy Machinery I'm, go over. I assume them. you're Betting street profits go over heavy yeah. machinery here. I would too. Um, I think I think they're a little more entertaining than heavy machinery. I think street profits wins. Like, we're gonna interview some people on the streets. <laughs> yeah, they interview each other. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Made, I'll give it to him. They didn't change clothes. <laughs> <laughs> didn't even attempt to make yeah, it. Was so look good, legit. dude. Yeah, they yeah. can be really entertaining. So yeah, I'm. A, we're both saying street profits over heavy yeah. machinery next week. And we also get TM61 versus AOP. So this is a rematch of the finals yeah. from the last classic. And so you you feel pretty certain that TM61 is going over here. I'm not certain. Okay. But like, I don't know. I, I, I How are they going to be authors of pain? I don't know. That's that's what I that's why I, I'm not sure of that at all. Are the AOP I get that they've taken some losses recently. Yeah, but I'm not convinced. They still, they're is, still strong. I don't. Uh, yeah, I'm not convinced. Team that Team Six One can take them out in a one on one without some sort of interference, and yeah. I don't know who would interfere. Like, so I'm tempted to take AOP in this, even though it's like part of me is like, oh, Team Six One's gonna get their revenge, get their yeah. redemption. I don't know. I'm this saying authors of pain. Way. Yeah, I mean, I'm putting on authors of pain. I just can't see how they lose this. So I'm gonna agree with you. It's got it's gonna it's gotta be AOP. If not, that's fine. I mean, I'm fine with Team Six a lot One. Of, moving yeah, forward. a lot of it's people just, think Team Six One is gonna take the whole thing. So I can see it. It just seems like this is a. I don't know how you put them over AOP. Yeah. Just um, because they're still booking them so strong, even though they've taken some losses, their losses are like in war games and stuff. Where yeah. there's a lot of stuff going yeah. on to take the loss, they don't lose a lot of just tag matches. Yeah. So. Not clean, they don't. No. So, I think we're both kind of going to lean AOP on this one. Yep. And then they're going to, I guess, finish up with Alistair Black versus Killing Dane. We both really look forward to this, even though we both kind of agree Black's going over. Yeah, here. Black is going over. They're they're leading But I, I could see them, you know, like if they're going to if they're gonna keep the build a little longer, maybe doing a couple matches of it before Mania. We still have, what, six weeks? Yeah, I think so. Or four yeah. weeks. So we got at least at least one more round of tapings in there. Yeah, I think so. Um, but yeah, I still think Alistair Black goes over here. Yeah, I but I could he... see Killian Dane as well. Both of them are. I could see some sort of weird no contest or a DQ that leads to another match. That's a possibility too. Yeah. But I guess just for the sake of if someone's gonna win clean, it's gonna be Black because they want to keep him undefeated going into. Take over New Orleans. Yeah. Which we're totally getting black versus CN. Guaranteed. Yeah. There's no, if they don't do that, I don't know what the hell they're building CN for. Yeah. Not so, enough. uh, both of, both of these guys are, are, are prime freaking wrestlers. Like, this is going to be a good match. Yeah. Um, and I'm, I'm super excited to see what the hell they do. Absolutely. Yep. But that was, that's pretty much it for the weekend. The, Absolutely. The, the, 
predictions for next week. We want to add into those predictions. Yeah, we got to. We got but, to predict. Yeah. All righty, guys. We'll take it easy. Be sure you subscribe to the Rapid Kick Media channel. Uh, hit the little bell on the side so you get notifications when our videos are popping up. Uh, be sure to comment. Talk to us a little bit. We need some people talking to us. That's what we need. Yeah, why don't y'all like to talk to us? Talk to you us. You do on our live streams. Yeah. Our reactions. Some of us talk to us, and they're like, hey, turn the camera around. Yeah. <laughs> That's not something we can do. No. We'll get panhammered into oblivion. But yeah, you will. All righty, guys. Take it easy. Be sure to subscribe. Bye. We'll see you next time.